One should be able to build a squirrel in about 10 minutes with pre-cut parts. Here I'm putting some glue on the leading edge. This is a, a glue stick that you can get at a, any dollar store. I'm putting the leading edge right at the front of the tissue so I don't have to cut the excess tissue away. Now I'm going to put the three, prepare the three wing ri ring ribs. I'm putting glue at both ends of all three of the wing ribs. This is um, a white glue. Uh, this one is called tacky glue. It comes at a typical hobby store. Works a little better than the common white glue. It's a bit thicker. It's uh, actually a pretty good glue for workshops because it doesn't smell and it's safe. Kids are very familiar with white glue as well. I'm only going to put the uh, outer two wing ribs in place at the moment because the priority here is to get the uh, two vertical winglets in place because that's a stress point and we need to get the glue drying as quickly as possible. So I'm only putting, I've got the two winglets in my hand and I'm putting glue at one end of the two winglets and I'm just putting them in vertically. It's easy to judge a vertical. That's why this aircraft doesn't have uh, any dihedral or polyhedral because there's no, it's easy to judge a, a vertical uh, 90 degree angle. Uh, I've got the um, horizontal stabilizer stick in place here. I'm using it as a measure to find the center of the wing because the horizontal stabilizer is 6 inches and the wing is 12. So I used it to, to locate the um, middle rib. Now I've got the three ribs in place and the uh, two winglets. I'm adding a bit of extra glue here to the trailing e for the trailing edge to go in place. You glue, use white glue wherever you're gluing uh, wood to wood and you use um, the glue stick whenever it's wood to paper, except there's a couple of exceptions which I'll bring forward as they come. There's the wing. I'm building onto the tissue which avoids uh, the use of um, building boards and pins and such. It, it seems like it warps a bit, but in the end, uh, if uh, the glue stick doesn't have uh, it has little or no water, so there's very little warping that goes on here. You may get a warp later after a couple of weeks if the tissue shrinks. The trick there is you crumple the tissue before building. That leaves a bit of slack in the tissue so the shrinkage doesn't um, affect the system. Uh, here I'm removing the vertical stabilizer. Notice it's just a single stick. I'm just cutting some tissue away and uh, I'm going to glue the vertical stabilizer to the motor stick with white glue even though it's actually tissue because this is a stress point. The reason the vertical stabilizer is a stress point is because the a toothpick will be glued to the vertical stabilizer at the bottom and that toothpick will be the one that holds the elastic or the uh, uh, motor hanger or the rubber hanger. So I'm, I'm actually sloping the vertical stabilizer a bit forward which means that the toothpick will stick out of the bottom, swept back a little. Also, the vertical stabilizer uh, stick is, un is hanging, uh, un hanging under the uh, motor stick by about a sixteenth of an inch. It'll act as a standoff for the uh, motor, so that the motor is uh, a certain distance from the motor stick, the motor being the elastic band. And I'm going to glue uh, put glue all the way around the piece stick, the one sixteenth extra sticking out the bottom, and I'm going to put glue uh, in the front of the vertical stabilizer. I'm going to glue the toothpick. I'm going to break the toothpick in half and take the pointed edge, and I'm going to glue it to the front of the vertical stabilizer. After I've got the toothpick in place, then I'm going to use a piece of thread and I'm going to wrap around. The, the overhanging piece of vertical stabilizer and the toothpick. So the toothpick sticks out perhaps a, a quarter or three sixteenth of an inch, I'd say maybe a quarter. So what's sticking out of the bottom is the toothpick as well as a bit of the, over, uh, the extra uh, vertical stabilizer. So the two critical joints are in place now. The vertical stabilizer toothpick as well as the um, winglets. Here I'm removing the horizontal stabilizer from the tissue. It's a single stick as well. 
I'm going to glue the horizontal stabilizer underneath the back of the motor stick. I'm going to use white glue, even though it's tissue to wood, because this is uh, not a high, high stress area, but it needs the white glue here. Surprisingly, this doesn't have to be clamped, because once the tissue is pressed against the, uh, um, the white glue, it becomes quite sticky and everything is held in place. This, uh, this piece just needs to sit for a couple of minutes and it's ready for flying. Um, white glue is very fast if, if, it's not, if very little is used. I'm now putting white glue on the wing seat or the wing mount. This is just to, to thicken the uh, motor stick in the area where the wing will be mounted. I'm putting two small elastics now uh, around the uh, motor stick and these will be the, the, uh, these will hold the wing on. Uh, they happen to be uh, clamping the wing seat in place at the same time. That piece is now ready. The wing, uh, the motor, uh, the, the, the motor stick assembly is now ready. I've now uh, put some glue on the wing mount. It just goes on top of the center wing rib and overhangs a bit so that, that the uh, small elastics can can uh, be used to strap the wing on. You may want to cut this tissue before you put the wing seat on. Uh, I made a mistake here. This is uh, the wing shim. This goes in the front of the wing, just a bit of white glue underneath the front of the wing. Now to complete the winglets, I'm going to add some white glue to the outer edge of the uh, winglets. I'm just holding them vertical. As long as they're kept vertical, the glue will continue to set. Press down, put the glue on. S by a similar uh, technique, hold the winglet in place and then push the, uh, the tissue up against it. And then repeating. Trimming the tissue. Once the tissue is in place, the winglet is actually pretty strong and even though the glue may not be perfectly dry, it can function and fly. So by the time you get the elastics wound in place, this is all, uh, this will all be dry enough. This is not a high stress area like a dihedral joint or a polyhedral joint. Here I'm just strapping the, uh, the wing on. Keep, make sure that the, uh, the uh, shim is in the front. And uh, once you're strapped on, you're going to add the propeller and you're ready to uh, start trimming.